my beautiful people. It's Chloe Dodge, and I am back with this look. A lot of you guys tell me that you can't find your foundation, you can't match your color. So today we're gonna do our whole face with just concealer. No foundation, very, very affordable, super easy. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a clean face, of course, and then I'm gonna use my matte um, moisturizer. My nails aren't done. I'm gonna get them done. Relax. Uh, um, for my face, I'm mixing my Espresso Concealer from LA Girl, um, and I'm mixing it with that Kiko Milano Matte Moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer that you use, um, but I would prefer a matte moisturizer or recommend. And you mix them together. You want to put a little bit more moisturizer than the actual concealer because the concealer is very thick. And that is going to be our foundation today. It's super, super affordable, guys. The concealer is what, like $3 now? And um, that's it. And whatever moisturizer you use, you're mixing it together and you're applying it to your face. And the best thing about it is it's basically full coverage because that concealer is basically full coverage. So you don't even have to really color correct or go back in and correct. And if you do want to, you can just add some more of the foundation because it's not really foundation. It's concealer. Oh, snap. We learned something new today. Um, now I'm going to highlight. You guys know how I do. I'm mixing my fawn and that um, Espresso Concealer together. And that's what I'm using to highlight today. Using my Real Techniques Flat Top um, Foundation Brush. And you guys know um, my highlighting routines under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, which I don't really have to do, but I like to do, my chin, and under my um, cheekbones. This is just going to be to clean up my contour. Um, to contour my face, I'm using this contour stick from Black Radiance. It's 8003, I believe. It's like the darkest shade. I love this concealer. It's I don't know, it's just so nice. I'm gonna blend out my highlight with a damp beauty blender. And then I'm gonna use my Real Techniques, um, I think it's like a powder brush, maybe, or a buffing brush, to um, blend out my contour. I sometimes use my beauty blender to blend out my contour, but for the Black Radiance Concealer, it's so thick sometimes and it doesn't really move when you use the blender or it takes a lot longer to move. So that's the reason why I don't use it for my whole entire face. But if you got time, girl, go ahead. Use it for your whole face. <laughs> um, now I'm blending out my contour. I'm making sure to stay right where the contour is, not going too close to my highlight because the point of the highlighting and the contouring is to bring out the places that you want and hide the areas that you don't want. So if you mix them all together, it's really no point. You know what I mean? So you want them to stay where you want them without looking too, too harsh. So you're blending it out but keeping them where they're supposed to be. And then I'm going to set those areas so that they don't move because they will. Um, I'm using my Sasha Buttercup and my Benai Banana Powder mixed together to set my face today. That I'm using to set my highlight. And um, for my contour, which you don't have to do if you don't use a concealer. If you don't use a concealer, you can just go straight to your contour powder, which is just a powder that's two or three um, shades darker than you. Um, but if you use a cream contour first or a liquid contour first, you are going to want to set it so it doesn't move. And if you don't want it to be super harsh, you don't have to set it with a color that's darker. You can use your regular face powder just to go over it so it doesn't move. Because I want my nose contour to be a little bit more precise, I'm using a smaller blending brush from Jessup Cosmetics. And I kind of just like blend it out into my eyelids and into my brows so that it can look a little bit more natural and look like this is really the shape of my nose rather than just leaving it right there in the middle and then you can clearly see that I like contoured the hell out of it. Um, for my eyes today, this is an affordable look so I use my palette that I got from Forever 21. Um, 
again you guys know in my last videos I've used it before and I didn't know Forever 21 sold makeup and they're not super 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 pigmented but they're nice and affordable and I really just don't say no to makeup no matter where it is so that's what I'm using to achieve this face today it's a neutral palette it doesn't have a name on it it just says like ivory so I guess that's the name if you want to go out and get it this is a very simple eye look if you guys want a more detailed video on how I did the eyes just comment below and I'll get that to you um, for my lashes today I'm using the Huda Beauty Jade number 13 lashes I think I'm right um, she sent me so many lashes that I can't even remember the names I'm so freaking grateful though because they're so beautiful yo like out of all the lashes that I've ever used I clearly have not been living because these lashes are it honey they are it mm -mm -mm. um <laughs> It's crazy. Um, I'm going to dust away the areas that I set with a fluffy brush from Jessup Cosmetics. I didn't let my face set as much as I should because I'm in a rush. I'm always in a rush, but, you know, do you. If you want to keep it on for an hour, go ahead. Let it all sink in. Um, I'm just going back in with a little bit of the powder from the Black Radiance Contour Kit. Now I'm tight lining my under eyes with um, this black liner from Nika K. And then I'm just going to buff it out using this plum shade in that same Forever 21 palette. Um, I'm using this Extend Lash um, Mascara from Nika K. And for my lips, I'm using this Coco lip liner from Nika K. No, 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 I lied. It's Jordana. Um, Jordana lip liner in Coco. And for the rest of my lips, I'm going to be using this cream lipstick from LA Colors in Latte. Um, it's so beautiful and I just like happen to walk past and see it. I'm just going to mattify it a little using a napkin and some of um, my Ben Eye setting powder just to turn it into a matte lip. For my highlight today, I'm also using a palette I got from Forever 21. It is this strobing highlighter illuminator. Um, I don't know. I think it's pretty cute. It's pretty nice. I added a little bit of my Kiko Milano color sphere because, you know, I got a problem, guys. I um, just sprayed a little bit of my Fix Plus, which I kind of broke, so I had to pour the rest of it out into my NYX bottle. Um, but this is the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for the support. You guys know I love you. You know I love you. Um, if you're not already following me on Instagram, it's at Chloe Dosh. Twitter, at Chloe Dosh. Um, and yeah, see you in my next video, guys. <laughs>